Hello guys, welcome to Cursor Run, your technology channel. In this channel, we talk about technology, all things technology, whether it's related to software, software development, gadgets, and all things, right? Um, and those things can be related to freshers, whether you just came out from the college and you are trying to explore new things, we, all, we talk about those. And we also talk about experience and advanced stuff on this channel. And just so that you know, I am your host, Rahul Sharma, from IT, from software engineering background, working in the industry for more than 20 years now. So yeah, I have seen all these things changing in front of my eyes. So yeah, let's keep learning. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe the channel and so that I can get more reach. Uh, in today's session, we are talking about Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. And if you just came out from college and you want to get started with X++ development, and I have so many videos on this channel, go back and keep learning um, ERP development. So, but for any development, there is one thing that you, is my gone? Yeah. So there is one thing that you need to do is, you need to get on a development environment, development tools. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't provide these tools in open for uh, finance and operations, D365, Dynamics 365, finance and operation. But there is a workaround, right? And I'm going to show you the, that workaround today. What Microsoft does is, uh, Microsoft has lifecycle services tool or a portal uh, from where we manage our Microsoft D365 environments. When I say we, I'm talking about uh, Microsoft employees, Microsoft customers, Microsoft partners like us who implement who implement ERP systems for our customers, right? We go to the lifecycle services and we create our dev boxes, your production boxes, UAT boxes from there. And I have a, a video there, a video on all these. I have videos on all these topics, and I'll put a link somewhere in the i box here so that you know what I'm talking about, right? But for today, what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how you can get access to a uh, dev environment so let me minimize this so that you can see the screen so what we are going to do is instead of LCS or lifecycle server we are going to go to the Microsoft learning labs right this is Microsoft learning lab for finance and operations where you can see there is the option where you can oh I need to see here sorry so where uh, you can see you need to you need you have an option called launch VM mod what this thing is, it is going to launch a virtual machine mode for you. A virtual machine is a cloud server, a server in the cloud, right? So, and that server comes with everything pre-installed for you. You need Visual Studio, it is there. You need any other development tool for finance and operations, D365, Dynamics 365. It is all set up and ready to go for you, right? You just need to click here and I will provide you lab and you know detailed instruction link in the description box below but before you click on that description link you need to do one thing right before uh, so that you get all these things right you need to subscribe to the channel you need to subscribe to the channel okay because that's important and that's your gesture towards me a thankful gesture for my time and efforts that i'm putting in these videos so do subscribe guys now let's go because I have already tried this thing so it will show me my previous session and it keeps track of your you know saved sessions as well because you have logged in and if you haven't log in with your Microsoft account you, whatever Microsoft account you have right live.com live.in outlook.com hotmail.com whatever right log in with your Microsoft account once you are in click on launch VM mod it will show me that I already have a session open so I'm just going to say yeah Let's continue with that. Now what it will do, it will take us a, uh, take us to the virtual machine session. So if you see here, there are two, there are uh, instructions box, right? You can read these instructions, um, how to use this virtual machine and what, what not, what it supports and what it doesn't support. Once you are done with the instructions, go back to the resources tab and uh, we are going to log into the virtual machine itself with the local admin account but what is the password password is pass at the rate word one i know my uh, image is there or my video is there, uh, my uh, uh, screen capturing is there but uh, password is pass at the rate one word one you don't have to type it on your own 
just make sure your cursor is here and click on this T as soon as I click on this T it, it will start typing the password for me so if I show you it type pass at the rate word one it's cool right and as soon as I if you are logging in logging in for the first time and you click um, this arrow it will automatically open a browser and that browser will try to open the finance and operations app URL for you app you for you right this is a app URL for you right and it will ask for a username you are going to use this username you don't have to type it in again in the sign in box just click on T it will type the whole username for you and in the password box click on T again and it will, it will uh, click on uh, it will uh, type it and log into the application itself it's a browser cloud-based application a web-based application so first let's go to the environment I already have it open so let's minimize it so for the first time when you are signing in uh, it will show you the browser with the sign in information use these username and passwords once you are there it will take you to the application itself now you can do whatever you want to do with the financial operations you can go to any module customers masters whatever you want to do and but this is not what we are going to do here right we are developers we are developers and we want a visual studio experience where we can write our x plus plus you know uh, language and we can see what we have learned right so First thing first, open Visual Studio. So there is a Visual Studio icon on the desktop. If you don't see it, click on here and search and open from here. And make sure you are opening it as a run as administrator. So click on it. It will open a Visual Studio instance for you. Now what you can do is uh, either you can click on an existing project or solution. I already have one but if you want to create a new project click on the create new project create new project and uh, the template we are going to use is finance and operations click finance and operations next provide your project name and solution name hit create I already have it I'm not going to click it so let me remove the sample that I was trying to show you. So once you uh, once you hit create project, it will show you something like this: your solution and your project. There will be no classes or nothing, right? There will be uh, no metadata element or code element uh, in your solution or project. Now what we are going to do is let's test if it's a full-blown finance and operations development environment or not right so what we can do we can create a small class and we can try to execute that class so for the ease of uh, this session I'm going to create a runnable job or runnable class and that class uh, helps us to test our X++ knowledge right so for example you are learning new X++ syntaxes and all you can write all that code into this class and execute it and if you want to know what runnable class is or what runnable job is I'll put a video I already have a video on it so I'll put a video link in the uh, I box uh, somewhere somewhere up there so right click on your project add new item under Dynamics 365 items click on code click on runnable class or job name your class as test job because we are just going to test our uh, code here x++ code hit add I already have it so I'm not going to add it so as soon as you click add it will open up it will add and if it is slow right it might take few seconds so have patience it will create a class for you and it will open an editor like this for you right it will be a blank class with the class name as test job and one method in it and the method name is main so again what this main is and what is runnable class and all that stuff go to that i link that i i was talking about okay um so this is a blank class and a form for uh, uh, and a method for us right so what we are going to do we, let's try some code here so let's display hello world on the screen right so how do you do it in x++ there is a command called info that's a function global function info and it takes few parameters the first parameters is of type text or a string 
and the other parameters are optional if you see it in the square brackets these are optional parameters this is a uh, uh, mandatory parameter so I'm just going to type hello world here we are going to display a string so this string is going to be in double quotes bracket one every command ends with semicolon in X plus plus save it once it is saved you can compile it manually from here, build and rebuild, right? You always compile your solution or project so that a system compiler makes sure that there is no comp uh, compiling errors or you haven't made any mistake. Uh, or you can directly create a click on start button so that it compiles, builds your solution and executes it and opens it in a browser. But you need to tell the system which class you want to run as a startup object. You, maybe you have five or six classes and forms and tables in your project or solution so you need to mark one object as a startup object so I'm going to right click and say set as startup object so that whenever I run this project or solution this class should be executed automatically so if I hit start it will build the solution it will make sure that there are no errors now what it is doing it is compiling and building our X++ code and converting it into a CIL common intermediary language that's what .NET framework or runtime understands uh, and every code whether you're writing in C sharp or X++ gets converted into CIL then .NET framework runs it like Java runtime right so uh, .NET runtime runs it and displays the output to you So once it is done, it will open a browser for us because Finance and Operations D365 is a web-based application. And it might take some time, so have patience. In the meantime, guys, again, subscribe. If you are still waiting, subscribe. What else you gonna do? You are waiting, just so hit subscribe. Yeah. And thank you if you have already subscribed. Come on. And yes, uh, because this is a technology channel, guys, I do talk on various technologies and coding and all that stuff. If you want to learn something new, uh, and if you want me to create videos on those things, please let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to help you guys make your career in software development or any technology, technical, technological field you, you are following to do. Uh, okay, so running our class test job. Once it is done, it will show us hello world here in any moment. So right now it's running our code because it's a lab session it's a virtual machine uh, that's why it's slow so here you see hello world finally printed on the screen whatever your info box information message you print in finance and operation it comes here at the top of the screen in the information section so yeah that was the quick video uh, explaining you how you get started with finance and operations x plus plus development and most importantly, where from where are you going to get the development environment or development server or development box? This is how you do it. So guys, if you found this information, if you find this information helpful, it's really late in the night. I'm already half asleep, so I don't know what I'm speaking. But if you find this information useful, guys, please do subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues. So that's it for today and I'll see you in the next session. Take care and have a good night.